There's a quick boiler maintenance that I'm doing today. I got uh, two boilers right here. It's a ray pack and a locking bar. So on boiler maintenances, I'm not dissembling the whole combustion side and cleaning out the uh, heat exchanger and all that. I'm just doing a wear and tear uh, and overlook and checking the pumps and uh, draining the expansion tank. I noticed both of these boilers didn't have a filter. So I gotta get one for the lock and bar. The one for the rate pack was just sitting inside. And so I added it. Let's see. But since there's no filter, I mean it's it's pretty filthy in here. And then you just have that dirt going down through your heat exchanger and your combustion. And it's not good. You wanna try to have as obviously as clean as possible. And you see a little bit of corrosion. It's an old boiler, still kicking. And then you have your bank right here and a bank right here where your igniters are at. And then a flame rod, flame sense. So I'll be changing out the HSIs and then cleaning the flame rod. Um, said HSIs are wear and tear items, so those need to be maintenance, changed, swapped periodically. Um, I used to do maybe a little less than a year. And the same thing with the lock of bar. Lock of bar doesn't use a flame sense, it just got you HSIs. This, you gotta take the whole front panel off, bottom panel, to get to the igniters. This one is pretty dirty. Just do an inspection on your hoses. See if you see any tears, visual wiring burnouts, anything rubbing. And then you check your pumps, make sure nothing's leaking. Uh, that. The supply pump, the coupling is actually starting to kind of tear a little bit, so that's going to need to be replaced. So that is one thing for sure. You got to take care of that. Uh, the expansion tank, I just drained it not too long ago, and then letting it fill back up. Like I said, just. Usually just somewhat quick maintenance, but it's crucial is the uh, hot service igniters because if those don't light, then the boiler's not gonna light. And then obviously in this, your flame sense, uh, your flame your flame sensing rod, if it's not clean, it won't detect flame and it'll go into an alarm. So you gotta make sure that's nice and clean. Uh, I'll just do a quick little demonstration on cleaning the rod and then swapping out a HSI. I mean, I'm not gonna record doing all of them. That's it's pretty straightforward. Just pull them out, put the new one in, make sure you got the gasket. Hand tighten it, don't use a drill. Fit your zip ties. And uh, wear gloves if you can. Do not touch the element on the HSI with your bare finger. Uh, the oils on your hand will ruin the element quick, so don't touch it. Like I said, I need a filter for this guy. This one's got one. I don't have this size filters on me, so I'm gonna have to get one. But, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll do a quick demonstration showing swapping out the HSI and uh, taking out the flame rod and then cleaning it.
one's not too bad, but it does have a little bit of corrosion, white wear and tear on it. The gasket's actually still down, I'm gonna leave that out there. Helps you from freaking snapping the uh, 
niter housing. It's got like a, it's made like made out of porcelain or something, and it's it's fragile. If you'll retorque it, it'll be a cracking. and change it out, HSI, cleaning, flame rod, and I'll do the same next to it, and then on the uh, lock and bar, you just swap out the uh, igniters, that's it. It uses the igniter as a flame sense, it sends uh, microamps back to the, uh, to the board for flame signal, um, so it doesn't use a rod. But, yeah, I mean, it's starting to get cold, so boiler is going to be getting used a lot more now. That's why you got to get these maintenance out of the way so you don't get a call. The boiler's down because of an igniter issue. So it's one of the things to check for. Uh, I'm not going to get into checking gas and all that due to the fact that this boiler, everything's running fine as far as gas. It's, there's no issue there. It's just, just a typical maintenance. I mean, if you had some issue earlier with gas, and then you would obviously dig into that but i said just check your your sequence make sure your fans are rolling make sure your filters are clean igniters are good pumps are all working got no leaks and you should be good all right see you in the next one